Hello, MTN yeah, fam. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog today. <laughs> Even though it's... Even though it's night time. It's, it's almost morning again on the opposite <laughs> side. Yes. Okay, so we haven't done a, like just a traditional Q&A in a really long time, especially because... Okay, well, Derek he is so makes soft. out with his dog no, no, really he's quick. so soft and fluffy. We haven't done a traditional Q&A for a really long time, so we thought that we would do one tonight. So There's a reason he came to me to cuddle and not you, because I'm a better cuddler. Sure. The first question, which I think I, there was more than one question on this, so I think this is a good one to start with, is how is Jensen doing since he got his feeding tube removed? You can't even see him there. <laughs> okay, Murphy, quit All still right. on the show. All right. Okay. Great. He's been doing fine. He struggled yeah. at first for a little while. We talked about that before. Mm -hmm. He struggled pretty bad for a little while, just missing it, feeling like he was missing a limb or something, mm -hmm. you know, but it was a piece of him, but he's doing really well. Yeah. He was... Um, a little bit worried about it and he made us put band-aids on it like before he got in the bathtub one time he was really nervous about water getting in it and then when we were in understandably so for because sure it's a hole yes in for his sure. stomach yeah so we put band-aids on it and then we took them off and he was fine and then when we were in las vegas we put band-aids on it again just because he was swimming, swimming. and we didn't know like how the chlorine like if it would hurt his tummy if more got in or whatever so we covered it then but He's been totally fine. And he's still like, when he sees someone that he hasn't seen in a little while, he says, he'll say like, I'm a big boy, I got my button out. So he's still really proud of it. He likes to talk he's about it. it. He's still processing it, I think. But overall, he's doing he's great. Good. He's doing really great with it. What is the hardest thing about being a parent? Um, everything. How much time do we have? Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's lots of hard things. Like, you know, obviously just, just managing life and getting him to do things. But I think probably, for me, the thing that like actually keeps me up at night, do they have self-confidence? Do they recognize their self-worth? Do they feel like I want them to really know how loved and special they are? And I want them to internalize that. I don't think that every, I don't think that like, I think that comes naturally to some people easier than others. And you know, you notice the different personality traits in your kids, and I just really want them to like always know that they matter, and I hope they know that. Do you think you will ever move from the house you live in hmm. now? That's actually been a, a, a daily conversation, talk, pretty much. I'm like, oh, that they've been <clears throat> spying on us. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, oh yeah, for sure, we'll move. I, I think there's a time and a place. I was it just today we were talking about? We were There's talking about a, it just a time and a place where right now we're, we're right in the middle, the, the thick of everything between dance and sports, where we kind of need to be centralized between all of that. But there's going to come a day where I would love nothing more than to live on 150 acres. I want a river running through it and like a, a pond or a lake that I can watch the sun set over the water every single night, watch the sun come up, just live in the middle of absolutely nowhere and we're gonna love it there and He's live gonna be happily moving there without after. me. We're gonna live happily ever after. What is your favorite movie? You say mine, I'll say yours. That'll make it more fun. Yours is The Truman Show. Yeah, yeah, The Truman Show. Uh, yours is, I'm pretty sure. This is gonna be hard for you. You're not gonna probably get it. Uh, probably, probably Avengers. Avengers? I love superhero shows. I know you're lying right now. Do you know Harry me Potter? at all? Harry Potter. <laughs> Avengers? I hate Avengers movies. Well, there goes your Christmas. Because <laughs> that's all I got you. I remember I bought you that A Knight's nice Tale with Heath Ledger. Yes, I do like that. That was the that's first gift I ever bought you. Yeah, I do like A Knight's nice Tale. I would actually say I don't have a favorite movie, but definitely not Avengers. This is one I'm not sure we can answer on camera. What's the most ridiculous thought that has ever crossed your mind? Well, apparently you think it's us moving up into the mountains, having <laughs> a thousand acres. That is ridiculous. Derek is a deep thinker. I'm a very... So many times he'll be saying something like, this is every time he were in the car. Just like, millions of years ago. Millions of years ago, what did this? What did those rocks look like? And they're gonna be here for a million more years. They're gonna be around here for a lot longer than we are. Or it here's blows my, my here's mind. my favorite thing that he says. 
how many bricks do you think are in that building? <laughs> so many bricks. Can you imagine being a bricklayer? How much brick cement There's did so it take to build New that? York. They don't call it a concrete jungle for How nothing. many There's wires? so much waste in this world. He really likes to think about those things. What's the most annoying thing you have ever done? I remember, I don't know if we were married or dating at this point, but we had to go to Boise and we were in my car. I had this tiny- This, well, this helped me. This made me like you even more. We were in this tiny little car and was when you I was, were sitting in the back seat. I was driving. He was getting tired. I was so tired. I he was, was getting fall really asleep. tired. And it was like my mom and brother and him. Yeah. We were all in the car. For some and reason, your mom was in shotgun. You were in the back. Yeah, I don't know why. It was because it was squishy. Because I had a little car that like didn't have. They don't care. It was a two door car. It was like a sports car. So the back seat, you're like curled up like this, you know. And my brother's six six. He's in the back seat with me. <laughs> anyway, I had a water bottle that was melting and had little chips of ice and I was just like whacking his seat. She was playing whack-a-mole with the back of my seat. Just trying and just being, being obnoxious. super obnoxious. She, worse than any of our kids, worse than Ember. Yeah, it was really obnoxious. Any of our kids, But yeah. did it keep you awake? Yes, it did. Mission accomplished, so. I actually do like a little bit of crazy, so I'm not kidding when I said, in a way it made me like her even more because it was just funny. She was just being weird and I like weird. I can't think of anything really annoying. I'm not annoying, I'm like, if, if there was a face for perfect, I would be on that coin. Sure. I would be the poster child for perfect. Sure. Are you guys on high alert when Jensen eats still? Yeah. We're on high alert with Jensen all of the time. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we are trying to kind of find the norm. Um, but even just the other night, two nights ago, he comes into our room at like Oh, what? it was in the night? It was in two the morning. Two or in the morning. But, okay, he was mad. Jensen is the baby. Of Plus, the he's, he's the, the baby with special medical needs, so it's safe to say he's a little bit spoiled. A lot of it yeah. spoiled. Okay, we're not. He's lo he's he's loved. Yes, he is. He is adored. Yes, he family. is adored by everyone, not just us. Like it, he's just. He gets all the attention. Everything about him just feels so magical. And you constantly wonderful. want to squeeze him for twenty-four yes. hours a day. So he sleeps in our bed. Every Often. night, most he, most nights. At some point in the night, like he goes to sleep in his own bed, and then usually at some point in the night, he climbs up on our bed. With his little bubby, his and blankie. He, yep, and he lays down right between Derek and I. He just plops down, and he goes right back to sleep. And he does it so much, it's just like, okay, here he is. Like I'd be lying if I said I didn't like it. No, I, I love it. It's absolutely it's adorable. adorable. It's adorable. But okay, so Ember had a bad dream the other night. So she was already in our bed. And then Jensen came in our room and he saw that Ember was already in there. He did not like and it. And he did not like it. And he started crying really hard and he was tired. And he took a deep breath in and he started to cry. And And that was it. He made he made that noise that he used to make yes. when he would mm -hmm. when his trachea would collapse. Now, I don't I don't know that it happened, but he made that same noise that and we both looked at each other like so we're we're on high alert yeah. like, quite often. Yes, and anytime, like so that in the middle of the night we both just like bolt up and I yeah. I actually jumped out of bed it was and a I weird grabbed sound him and I was made. like, is he okay? And yeah. Derek said that like we just both every sound he makes we are unconsciously list, subconsciously, subconsciously listening. listening to. And he'll even say like mm -hmm. if he'll cough or something, he'll even look at us and, and he'll say, "I'm okay." And it's so cute this little voice and he'll just say, "I'm okay." Yeah, he lets us know. He knows. Anytime he's eating and he makes a cough or any little thing like that, we're very it's like you're constantly listening for it because it's you you can tell like you can, it's a sound usually that you're like, "Oh, he's it's happening. He's doing it." And so, yeah, for sure we're on high alert. And I know that we could probably be less anxious about it than we are. But at this point, like this has been almost four years of like pretty high stress. And I just don't know if we'll ever not worry about him. And I mean, that brings us to another question that we just saw was basically if we think that we have PTSD. Oh, jeez. Yes, yeah. we do, clearly. Off, like from the other thing, I, I mean, both of us would be 
open to like doing EMDR therapy or anything like that that's more like specialized in PTSD because it's definitely some baggage that affects us. It was every single day. Mm -hmm. We're okay, you know, and, and we don't like celebrate it. We don't, we don't try to make it worse than it really is kind of a thing, you know, but it, the, when, when you go, like I said, when you go at two in the morning, whenever you came to our room and made that very sound and you're automatically like, you go, you can go right back there. You, you can go, go right back to all the feelings. Yeah. So it, yeah, it's, it's, it's still there, but yeah. I think it's, a, I think it's a good thing in a way because it just helps us be alert and aware and, mm -hmm. and uh, just, I don't know. Yeah. I'm definitely thankful for it. Cause like even the day that he choked most recently, it was just like, because we're like on our toes and we're paying attention to it, like I feel like we catch it quick and we're just very react aware fast. and we can react fast. What is your favorite quality of the kids? I don't know, it's so hard. They all have such great qualities. Their hearts. Yeah. Every one of them has just such a huge heart in, in going back to Jensen and just seeing the way that they react with him, the way, you know, we don't have a perfect family. We have times when we have to get after them and they get after us. And yeah, we I have mean, our we're, all, and, we're doing a lot of apologizing, all of us. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that's okay, mm -hmm. teaching them that that's okay to, you know, start over and, mm -hmm. and fix things. But anyway, you see how big of hearts that they have. Um, they get down on themselves sometimes. They're emotional, too. I don't know where they get that. Um, but uh, <laughs> they they just love each other. They have a lot of they have so much compassion. Okay, this is gonna be the last question. How do we prioritize our marriage with five kids? Should we start now? <laughs> Should we start prioritizing our marriage now we have five uh, kids? I don't think we're that great at that. It's actually really hard. But one thing that we are really good at is we're family. Family is very important to us. Family time is very important to us. There's nothing more and important to us. And we always make time for family, and so that in turn makes time for us. We were in, we used to like do, and I would like to get back to that. Before we had Jensen, we would go on dates, just the two of us, like quite often. But since we had him and we couldn't leave him, it was always so hard, and it was just, we're so busy now with our kids and running, 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 that on the weekends when we would usually like go want to go out on a date on Friday or Saturday night, we're both just like, we don't want to do anything. We just want to stay home. So, but we do, we spend time together like every night. We always watch a show. We dare couple to vlog and we kind of like hang out in that way. But it's definitely something we could improve on. And everything just has a time and a place just yeah. right now with with five kids and carpools every single night just just a lot going on. We also understand that we have other things yeah, to take care for of. For sure, for sure. But I think that we're both good at like, you know, we are different people than we were when we got married 15 years ago. And you have to give, you have to know that people are going to change and that you're going to continue to grow and you have to give people that space and I don't know, don't and evolve with them, I guess. I think it's very individual to each family. What works for this person doesn't have to work for you. You just have to be like, this works for us and we get it, so that's good. This is how we do it. This, this is how, how we do, do it. it. And we're just gonna end with the 90s rap. <laughs> Hey, thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, that was fun to do a QA. and Hope you guys liked it. If you guys want us to do a few more Q&As, we can do it every so often because it is kind of a nice little shake up from the vlog, right? Mm -hmm. um, come back tomorrow. Uh, more questions. The more questions yeah. I have, yeah. the more we answer. Right. Okay. See you guys. Bye. Bye.